Tumin anesthesia oxygen analysis. Oxygen is a clear, colourless, orderless, tasteless gas. Atomic number of 8 and boiling point of minus 183 degrees C and a freezing point of minus 218 degrees C. It supports combustion and it reacts with most elements to form an oxide. Oxygen can be analysed as a gas or a liquid. Examples include fuel cell, power magnetic analyzer, Clark electrode, Roman scattering and mass spectrometry. Fuel cell is a device composed of a lead anode, gold cathode, potassium hydroxide solution and O2 sensitive membrane. It's located in the inspiratory limb of the breathing system. How does it work? Oxygen diffuses across the O2 sensitive membrane and binds to the gold cathode. A reduction reaction occurs to reduce hydroxide ions which then move through the electrolyte solution and react with the lead anode. An oxidation reaction occurs at the anode producing electrons which then can move around the circuit. Oxygen consumption is proportional to the current generated. Advantages and disadvantages. It doesn't require a power source and it's accurate. However, it has a lifespan, it's a slow response time and requires calibration. Oxygen is power magnetic, therefore it has unpaired outer electrons so it's attracted to a magnetic field. We can exploit this for power magnetic oxygen analyzers. All the power magnetic oxygen analyzers contain two nitrogen filled spheres. We use nitrogen as it's not attracted to a magnetic field and these rest over poles of a magnet. Oxygen is attracted towards the magnet and this causes one of two things. Either displacement of the dumbbells as they rotate and this is detected by a light source in a photo detector on null deflection. So the dumbbells remain in the same place and you assess the torque on the dumbbells and this is based on the amount of oxygen passing through. Modern power magnetic analyzers contain a sample and a reference tube. Oxygen is attracted to the magnet and the magnet cycles on and off and this pressure detected by the pressure transducer. The higher the oxygen, the greater the attraction and the lower the pressure. The Clark electrode has four components, a platinum cathode, a silver anode, an electrolyte solution typically containing potassium chloride and an O2 sensitive membrane containing Teflon. We apply an electric current of a no magnitude to the potassium chloride solution to form electrolytes. At the anode, the silver electrode is oxidized into silver ions which interact with chloride ions forming silver chloride and electrons. Conversely, at the cathode, the platinum electrode acts as a catalyst reducing the dissolved oxygen in the sample. The oxygen diffuses via the O2 sensitive membrane into the potassium chloride solution and therefore combine to the platinum cathode. Electron flow between the electrodes generates a current which is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the oxygen in the dissolved sample. The table shows the advantages and disadvantages of a Clark electrode. Notably, it's faster than a fuel cell as it contains a power source. However, it has a three-year lifespan and its results are affected by halothane and it has a relatively slow response time.